As we travelled through the jungle for several days, we came across a small facility where a family of boosters have taken up residence. Our cameraman and our guide managed to sedate these aggressive creatures and attach cameras to them so we could get up close and personal and try to discover why these creatures choose to kill each other over and over again. As we discovered in Yemen, when we came too close to them, they would turn their attention to us and attack. From here, with our collar cameras, you can see they pick one partner to kill over and over again. Always placing their homing light on the floor so they can respawn at will. As you can see, there is a lone hunter on the prowl, looking for his next tasty booster, and it's not long before he finds a pair and quickly dispatches them. Leaving no trace that he was ever there, all we know about these predators is limited to what you are watching. We have named them simply Booster Hunters. They can be fast and agile, but normally they will wait listening for the telltale signs of a little beep the boosters make when they get overexcited. The booster hunter has two methods of surprise. One, simply rushing in and teeth gnashing with a deadly result. Almost the same as a lion in a feeding frenzy. And secondly, he would lie in wait and then use the surprise of an ambush. Both of these methods work very well, getting kills on most attempts. Normally, the boosters are so engrossed in killing each other, they simply let their guard down, normally resulting in an early demise. As you can see from the top right hand corner of your screen, we have given names to these boosters so you can distinguish between each one and the level of intelligence they have. Some being smarter than others, while at the lower end of the scale, they are really lacking in any form of intelligence, letting themselves be killed time and time again. For now, they are in no danger, as the booster hunter seems to have had his film and has retired for the rest of the day. But for now, these boosters seem to be at no near end to stopping their little killing frenzy. It's almost hypnotic to watch these creatures at their total resilience to stopping. They know they are free from the predator that was hunting them earlier and are happy to continue. So our quest continues to find these sometimes elusive creatures. We shall continue to travel the globe to find more colonies and see what the local communities are doing to stem the spread of boosters. I hope that one day we can stamp out this epidemic of booster roosting and free our communities from this vermin. It does seem to be spreading and stronger controls will need to be put in place so we can just localize the problem to one place only and then total eradication of the species. We shall leave it there for now and we will see you soon for another episode of Booster Hunting where we will hopefully bring you footage of an actual booster hunter. They are rare to find but we will continue our search to bring you the latest footage. Thank you for watching and remember, be safe, happy hunting, Gaming 13 out. Try hard, always raging, then they get to fussing, they always rage quit, and then they start cussing, I'm trolling online, but I ain't saying nothing, cause if I'm in your game, then I'm booster busting.